A big change for people who live and play on area lakes. The Guadalupe Blanco River Authority says it will drain four lakes along the Guadalupe River next month. Eyewitness News reporter Holly Stouffer joins us now live on Lake McQueenie. Holly, that beautiful view behind you is going to change pretty soon. Yeah, Aaron, in just a few weeks, this view is going to look a lot different for homeowners who have spent a lot of money to live here. Rather than looking at the water, they're going to be looking at a lot of mud. Starting on September 16th, the River Authority will begin to drain the lakes, starting with Lake Gonzalez, then moving upstream and finishing up here at Lake McQueenie. Nearly three months ago, the dam at Lake Dunlap collapsed. The Guadalupe Blanco River Authority says this happened because the steel holding it together is more than 90 years old. A major amount of section loss there. So GBRA officials pulled this hinge off the dam to show us how bad it's game. aged. They've been in service between 1928 and 1932. To keep this from happening again, the GBRA has decided to drain the four remaining lakes it oversees. What will happen is you'll see the water level drop at a approximately 12 feet, depending on where you are along the river. Those who live and work along Lake McQueenie are upset about this decision. There's not a single person that lives in this community that's not going to be affected by this. They say taking away the option to go boating and skiing will hurt businesses, and those living along the water will lose their view. Property values have already been affected, so for me to put my house on the market today, that uh, would probably mean um, about a 50% loss of investment. GBRA officials say this is the last option they have to keep people safe. Like Some people just wish they were given more time to help the them find like another solution. And River Authority officials tell me that engineers are working on designs for new spill gates, but that could take a couple years until they're all finished. And then once they're completed, they'll need to find $180 million to afford the replacements for all six lakes. Live on Lake McQueenie, Holly Stouffer, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News. Quite a job ahead, Holly. Thank you.